So pretty much everybody's having this same issue. Every time the glider falls to the side, you forget the basics of how to control the glider. Lean, walk, pull, or turn, walk, pull. So move over here. There's a post right behind you. So kite off to the right. Then you're gonna do a right side wingtip drag, then recover it. There you go. So it comes down to the right side wingtip drag, falls down, now recover it. Notice he has turned completely to the right and notice the direction he ran, a 45 degree angle into the wind, half the direction the glider's going, half into the wind. So many people run downwind and totally screw the glider up <laughs> over and over because the glider's pulling you that way and so people kind of go where they're pulled unless you physically think to do it the correct way. Okay, wingtip drag right, then wait for that correction. Uh, let's do it with just a tiny bit of brake. Uh, use every piece this time. So he turns right, runs forward at a 45, gentle brake, hits the other brake. Okay, now kite down here again. Now, this time, as the glider swings above you, walk towards it so you kill the surge. Know how it shoots over you every single time? Yeah. Well, when you get under it, move towards it and kill the, the surge before it starts. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. The, uh, that's a little trick. So every time the glider swings above you, it's gonna load and try and shoot in front of you. If you step towards it, you can kill that energy before it happens. He moves under it, boom, and then step towards it. Bam, there you go. See how he didn't have to bury the brakes, which is another, see that's that loading thing. Everybody takes off running hard as they can and they put so much load, the glider then wants to shoot past you like a rocket and then you're trying to yank for anything, ah, panicking as the glider's overflying you. Again, just don't pull so freaking hard and the glider won't overshoot you so hard. Okay, do it again. Uh, this time, face your wing tip. So bring it down to the right and just face it. Don't turn until you go to recover. So when you do the wingtip drag, you should be facing the glider square. Oops, run, run. So he's losing lift, so he needs to build some airspeed. And go for it. Run, and bingo, there we go. There you go, right hand up, hand up an inch, hand up. Hand up, there you go, little right brake. Now hold it there, turn right, face the glider, face your glider, turn, yep, right brake. Little right brake, bring it up just a smidge. Now turn left, run into the wind, 45 degree angle, nice and smooth, and go this way, 45 degree angle, 45, no, lean, 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 you gotta go this way, that way. Brakes, run backwards, brake, brake, brake. Okay, you're not leaning, you're standing straight up. See, I'm trying to shove you, but you're letting it drag you downwind. So you've gotta lean your body away from the glider so your body weight lifts the glider up. You're just not loading the glider. Okay, try it again, try it again. So left side down. Sorry, I hope I didn't push you too hard no, there. No, no, no. Okay, no problem, there you go. Face the glider, left brake, right hand up. There you go, a little right brake. You can let go of the left now. Go now, turn hard left and dig in and lean against it. Now, gentle right break, break, right break, pull break this way. Just relax now. Dig in and run to the ocean. Go, go to the ocean, go to the ocean. Go, 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 run to the ocean, run to the ocean. Go, go, you're going the wrong way. Left break, no, it doesn't. The weight doesn't matter, and it doesn't matter how big the glider is. It's about leaning and letting your body weight do the work. Yeah, just like this, where you're hanging your body weight, it's the same, you're just hanging off to the side. So same thing, you just have to load the glider. Okay, try it again. Nice and smooth, no collapses. And when you bring it up, turn and go, get it done, get it done. So you can't take so long, go for it. Nice and gentle, ounce of left, right hand up. There you go, little right break, half inch, half inch of right break, pull away from the riser. So 
this hand pulls this way, away from the riser. Now turn left and run. Turn left, little left, little break. Now run, dig in, go, 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 pull the brake, pull the brake. Go this way, under the wing, under the wing. Go, go, go. Right brake, right brake, left hand up. Don't touch the left yet. Right brake, slide, slide. Um, there should be two skid marks. If it's dragging you downwind, notice how you did stumble, stumble, stumble. There should be two perfect slides. Just slide right towards it. So if you don't have enough weight to go that way and it's dragging you, that's perfect because you're loading it. Turn left, face the glider. Turn left, face the glider, right hand up. There you go, bring her down, bring her down. Nope, stand up straight, stand up straight, sit up straight. So you don't need to lean right now, just sit up straight, nice and square. Now lean back so it doesn't drag you. There you go, little right break. There you go, little right now. Turn hard left, right break, hard, and move, on. nope, you're going the wrong way. You gotta go that way. And brakes, both brakes back up, back up. There, yeah. Easier. Piece of cake. Yes. And that was hard. We gotta do it easier than that. It gets easier. <laughs> Okay, sir, left side, wing tip, drag. There you go, turn it that way. There you go, nice and easy. Right brake, turn left, face the glider. Turn and run, run, run to the ocean, 45 degrees. And not too shabby, other than you need to let go of that low side brake. Bring it down with as little brake as possible. Just make the correction, stand up straight, feet together, turn left all the way, run, drop your left hand. Let go of your left hand, turn left, and run towards it, a step, boop. See how you had to stuff brakes to stop it? So you needed to unload it a little quicker. There you go, face it, feet side by side. Pull brakes down, not to your ear, so brakes go this way. Pull away from the riser, there you go. Nice and gentle, turn a little left. The more you turn left, the less brake you'll need, as you notice. There you go, now turn as far as you can and run 45 degree angle, gentle brake, and step towards it. And back up, back, oh. <laughs> Don't forget to hit the brakes if you need them. 